Drawa, Borut Petrlin here, Top Sheet Photography. I am doing this vlogs kind of half life. I guess you know it already. Um, nevertheless, disclaimer. I'm not, an, I'm not an art historian, I'm not an art critic, I'm a photographer sharing with a passion, my passion for photo books. And in my last uh, vlog, I asked you who is the author of this book, of these incredible images. You guessed it? I don't know. I mean, I just published the other vlog. I'm recording immediately. Well, the, the answer is Jeff Mermelstein and his famous book, Sidewalk. This book won a European Book Publishers Award in year 2000. And, I'm, and I bought it in year 2000 uh, from none other than Dewey Lewis, uh, the publisher of this book. So um, let's, oh, before we continue, I have another photo challenge for you, and that is, who is the author of these images? Okay, let me see, yeah, these images. Have you guessed it? It's also a very famous book that will be featured in my vlog. <laughs> No doubt about that, but let's go to the Jeff Marmelstein. Well, this is street photography at its, its best. Jeff Marmelstein is, um, he is, he is, uh, he, he's living in New York, obviously, and this book is about New York and uh, what is going on. And what I love about street photography is that you go, you go in street, uh, to do street photography and you have no, no concept and you just follow, you just have this mood. And actually that's what Jeff, Jeff Murmerstein is talking about, you know, being in a, well, what's his word? In a swing or something like that. <laughs> anyway, look at this image. Look at this image. Isn't that an image of a, of a, of a modern image, a modern, modern image of a crucifix? That's how I, I see it. Don't crucify me because of that. <laughs> so anyway, look at that. Look at that. It's just amazing, huh? Well, this is hyper real and at the same time surreal. Look at this. You know, he's like a boss and the secretary and ah, oh, my goodness. This is this is what I love street photography because, as Jeff Mermerstein is saying, he's not. He doesn't have an idea what to photograph. He just goes there and does it, and uh, and he's following this flow, and he and and things happen. Things happen, and obviously, look. At, and when I say things, I mean like big things, like this shop window collapsed. And um, look at this one. This is whew, this image. It's really for me is like. I don't know, it's really amazing because it talks about this driver being in his life, questioning, I don't know, I, I, I see in this, in this image like a guy in a existential thoughts, you know, like he's thinking about like he's seeing something in, in front of himself and with this reflection, it's just amazing, it's just amazing, a dead bird. Look at that. It looks like blood on the street. Isn't that amazing? And this, look at his face. And then like a polar bear like drowning there. And his long um, shutter speed looks, everything is moving and shaking. It's literally like seeing like a dying person, you know, or something like that. Look at that. Isn't that surreal? I mean, you know, lately I am praising painters as uh, photographers, you know, like I, I definitely think that painters have a unique vision of uh, and a unique field in, in, a, in a history of photography. But, you know, this, this stuff, this stuff can be done only by a photographer without any concept and just following 
being in a flow and just taking pictures and oh my goodness. <laughs> it's just incredible, huh? By the way, he oh, look at that. <laughs> Adult XXX rated videotapes. <laughs> That's just I have to show you close. <laughs> so, oops, sorry. Yeah, look at that. It's really, it's a really amazing photo. And the sun coming from this side. Amazing. Surreal, surreal. He's, he's a master of making extraordinary out of very ordinary. Like these are just glimpses. Oh, look at this one, <laughs> you know, reflections. It's like just glimpses of ordinary and he's just making it so surreal. And he's talking about chasing that image and just being in the flow. And, and he had no idea if he caught anything on his film or not. Um, let me remind you, this was like 1999 or 1997. Um, Look at that frame. Have you have you wondered if this is actually a painting of, in a frame? No, it's actually a man coming out of the I don't know phone booth. I guess I guess this picture would not be would not work without this pink and this legs. Just like just this image would not be enough. It has to be has to be more confusing because this is so confusing. It's so surreal, and this ghost, ghost wind. His eyes, high eye there. <laughs> so published by uh, David David Lewis, or actually this was this 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 book this book won European. Uh, book European Publishers Award uh, book in 1999 and uh, it was published by David Lewis and so anyway I what I think about this book is not only that it's a masterpiece but what I love is this moment of you know in the United States this strong movement of street photography is amazing and influenced me hugely uh, you know my one of my favorite photographers of all is Gary Vinogrand and also Jeff Mermerstein mentions him as his role model or inspiration. Uh, for you guys who are shooting in a digital era, let me share one really good um, workflow of Jeff Mermerstein. Of course, he've done it. Uh, he's, he has done it everything in on film, and it took him sometimes even two months before he actually view um, the what he shot, and that's what he says. He's quoting. Let me quote him. That sometimes we focus too much on the shooting aspect of street photography, not enough on the viewing and editing images. He's talking about when he has this bag of developed films and he's wondering what kind of, what does he shot, so what is inside, what goodies are inside. So he's rejoying seeing these images and also seeing it with a, with a quite a distance. So he's not like emotionally involved anymore. He sometimes even forgot what he has shot. Uh, and, and then he's re rediscovering. And I think that's really, really uh, excellent stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this short video and um, talk to you later. I must thank to my Patreons for supporting me. If you want to support me, you can do it via Patreon or even buy my book, which is, which is somewhere 
not here. <laughs> it's half life, so I have to say goodbye and check the description below.